Hey you guys, it's Ani. In today's video, I have an amazing success story and it's for all of you doubting right now that you'll get your manifestation. It's for you. It's for those of you who are having maybe anxiety or worried about like, when will my manifestation come? If it will come, will my SP conform? Um, so this story is for you, you guys, and uh, towards the end of the video or after the success story, after I read it, I will share with you what um, the client and I went over and how she got her success so you can get it too. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, so she writes, it's been a long time coming and a lot of twists and turns. Uh... I am traveling to blank this week on Thursday to finally meet my SP. Ani girl, I am so happy and grateful that we have met. I love you like a sister. From day one, you told me that I can do this. Regardless of status and social media presence of my specific person, you introduced me to scripting inner conversations and told me circumstances do not matter and to keep going. Well, girl, I intend when I come back from my trip, I come back with a huge success story um, for when we meet next time. Hopefully I can get an appointment with you because you're always booked. <laughs> yes, girl, I'm so happy for you. See, I told you you will be a success story just like all the others and you are. Okay, you guys. I there wasn't a lot of detail in this, but I'll give you the background story. So I've been working with this client and she's been in a long distance relationship with um, her specific person for a while now. And like she was having difficulty with him committing and him like really showing up as a serious, you know, like, I don't know, he, he wouldn't make time for her. He wouldn't really prioritize her. Every time she would try to talk about it, he would kind of brush it off. Like that's the situation she was in. And I know a lot of people are you, a, a lot of people, ugh, can't talk. A lot of you and a lot of people are in that situation. I was once in that situation as well, where you don't feel like you're chosen. You don't feel like you're wanted. You don't feel like a priority. Um, for your specific person and she's finally going to meet with them and have a romantic time like she's always imagined and affirmed for and I cannot wait to hear all the amazing news from you girl when you come back um, but she every time you guys she, here's the problem like every time they would plan on something it'll never it would never work out he would always um, he would always like come up with something or make excuses or it just wasn't the right timing and it wouldn't work out for her to go visit him or him to visit her. So the fact that she's finally, it's like hundred percent going and they're going to be spending so much time with each other. That is huge. That is huge. And a lot of you are probably in that situation too, where you just want, you just want to spend time with your SP and you haven't feel chosen and prioritized in a very long time. And you want to, you want to experience that too. You want to go on the romantic dinners, on the dates, on, you want to cuddle and, you know, go shopping with them and all of that. And it's completely possible, you guys, but the importance uh, of this and what we would go through, her and I would, what I would teach her is you really have to put your 3D evidence aside for a second. And that's the hardest part for a lot of you. And that was really hard for me too when I was manifesting SP. Like really like just kind of being ignorant towards 3D. Oh my God, what is up with these sirens? Jeez. Um, it's like the whole city's on the, <laughs> in on it. Um, so I would, and so would my client. What I would do is I would get so frustrated when I was manifesting SP and I wouldn't see evidence. I would go a few days, like, I was cool, I was good, I was fine, I was doing the affirmations, I was on a strict mental diet, and then when I wouldn't hear from him, I would be, like, like for, for maybe, like, a week or so, right? Let's say you wouldn't hear from them. 
that's when you really start to like your ego starts getting in the way and you're like hmm you know what like when you call or when you text i'm not gonna answer right away like you you automatically make these stories and assumptions in your head that like Maybe they're trying to hurt you. Maybe they're trying to brush you off. Maybe they're trying to distance themselves from you. And I want you guys to remember that is all stories you're creating in your head. You really don't know like 100% what's going on in their uh, 3D. You're just over here creating stories because you're coming from a place of not chosen, not wanted, not prioritized either with them or from another relationship. And you're applying that story onto them too. And it's kind of not fair because when you understand everyone is you pushed out, when you understand that they're only mimicking, they're only projecting out to you what your inner world is and how you feel about yourself, it's not fair. Like, I used to get mad all the time with SP and I, she would get really annoyed too. She would always, I remember she would always be like, Ani, you know, I feel like I should just give up. Like, he doesn't care. He's not prioritizing me. Like, um, I'm, you know, if he's not going to know my worth, I'm going to go and find someone that does. Well, here's the thing, you guys. And no one is obligated to stay with the SP they've been manifesting. Like, you can always manifest someone new. You know, it's, it's your free will. It's your life. But... I want you to understand something. A lot of people go into new relationships. Like, let's say it's too difficult to recreate someone, right? You go into a new relationship, but you still find yourself in the same situation months later. Why is that? It's because your self-concept, that base foundation, has not been worked on. Your story about yourself, your story about relationships, your dominant stories of how people treat you, of how boyfriends treat you, of how girlfriends treat you, of how um, commitment is. Everyone has a story and everyone's story always plays out. And whether it's with this SP you're manifesting or another one, wherever you go, you need to make sure your story's on point because everyone is you pushed out. It's not just this specific person. Wherever you go, that person's you pushed out too. So how you feel about yourself and how you feel about relationships, they will definitely push that out. And I know a lot of you know this. If you've been through this, comment down below. Like if you have the same situation over and over again, even though it's a different person or different relationship, different partner, and you're going through the same thing, like relationships aren't working out it's a struggle you're always like rejected that's that's what it is it's that it's that foundation of first it's you don't understand probably how well everyone is you pushed out you don't understand that your internal world matters the most that's one key second is you don't understand or i'm not going to say you don't understand but you're not consciously putting in the effort to change your story from a reject rejected individual to a chosen individual. That was my issue. I used to, I went from a really bad relationship that I'm so happy, like I'm not in anymore. Like I'm so happy I manifested my SP, but I went from that to SP, met SP, fell in love with SP, but I still had the not chosen identification. Like I still identified myself as the same girl that left that previous relationship so thing they will push out the everyone will always push out how you feel inside about yourself or how you feel in relation to them now you may be thinking oh yeah i'm good with everyone like my self-worth is on point everyone loves me respects me adores me but my sp doesn't okay so what story do you have in relation to SP? Do you view SP as a player? Do you SP? Do you view SP as a ladies' man? Do you view SP as not going to prioritize you because they never have, and uh, why would they start now? All of those things matter. Every all of that matters. Every part of your story matters, you guys. If I'm making sense, comment down below. Um, but the best advice I can give you in this video is. 
go within as much as you can. And what do I mean by within? Accept your 3D re reality, your current 3D reality, accept it. You're in this situation, you created this experience, you're there, fine. It's old anyway, it's, it's not gonna last long. If you keep your focus on it, it will last long, but it won't last long if you start changing to a new story. And just like my client has success, she can tell you that too. I'm sure she'll comment in the, oh, I'm sure she'll comment down below you guys, but um, uh, what was I going to say? Yes. So if you change, if you start changing your story of I'm chosen and wanted in my reality. This person is showing up as their best version, of, as the best version of themselves. Start having inner conversations with the best version of themselves. Start hearing them cheer you on and support you. You got this, babe. You can do this. Keep persisting. I'm going to show up in your 3D reality as the best version of myself no matter what. You got this. Keep going. Don't worry about the old version that I showed you in the past stay focused on your new story. I will project it out into your 3D reality. I have conversations like that with my SP all the time within. And SP always shows me in 3D, just like all my other clients too. So the I know it's frustrating, you guys. Trust me, I understand it's frustrating. It's easier said than done. I know that you're, you've probably heard negative things come out of SP's mouth or you've been rejected or you haven't heard from them in a long time and you feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel, but I'm here to tell you there is because I've gone through it. I've gone through it. All my clients have gone through it. Those feelings of it's not going to work. What if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't push out? What if I can't get what I want? What if I'm not powerful enough? All of us have felt that way and we are still successful in getting what we want because we persist in the new story. And here's how persisting in the new story may look. Because I think a lot of you are thinking persisting in a new story means you're never going to get a negative reaction. You need to stay on point no matter what. You can't even have a negative thought. You can't have a negative flashback. Um, you can't have a reaction. I feel like that's what a lot of people think. Like they got to be perfect on this journey. And that is so not true. I manifested my SP with a lot of disagreements along the way. A lot of tears. A lot of crying. A lot of giving up. But I still got it. Same with my clients. So this is how it would look. Persisting. One day you're good. You got this. You're doing you. You're realizing you're worth it. Next day, you don't feel good. Next day, you are maybe triggered from something. You remembered something. You remembered what they said, what they did. You don't, you're not liking the feeling. You're not feeling motivated to affirm. You're not, you're not feeling motivated to have inner conversations. You let, you, you observe those thoughts, never absorb them, but observe them. And then Next day, you're all, all of a sudden good again. You remember law of assumption. You watch a video, maybe it gets you motivated. You start, you start that cycle again. You're going, you're doing it. You're feeling good about it. You're feeling ambitious. And then a day, you get me? One day good, one day bad. Two days good, two days bad. Three days good, one day bad. It happens. You cannot be perfect in this journey. You're not a robot. You are going to get feedback from your reality that may not feel good. And I want you to be prepared, prepared for it. I can't talk. I want you to, pre really? I want you to be prepared for it because a lot of people hype themselves up that this is going to be the smoothest road possible. There's going to be no bumps along this road of my manifestation journey. And then when something happens and they get triggered, they take it real hard. So I don't want you to be like that. Like, you can do this. You, it, it may be bumpy sometimes. It may be smooth. It may be real good. It may be real bad. But it doesn't matter. You keep persisting no matter what. You keep persisting because all these successful people keep proving to you that you need to be persisting. I keep telling you, you need to be persisting. It's, it's your reality. 
no one else's. Only you have free will, no one else does. And when you question the free will part, think of it this way. There's only one director of your movie, and that's you. So Steven Spielberg, think about it like this. Steven's a, a great director, like Steven Spielberg. Um, I don't know, James. Is James Cameron? Dave Cameron or James Cameron? Who did Titanic? I don't know. A good director. Let's say, imagine this. Steven Spielberg's directing the movie. He doesn't feel good. Is he going to be like, hey, um cast come here and direct it i'm not gonna do this nope no he's not just like how you're not gonna say hey someone else you know someone else um think for me i'm not gonna think you're not gonna you can't do that only you can think and create in your reality but if you say you know what? I'm not powerful. SP is more powerful than I am in my reality. Guess what's going to happen? The projection is going to be like, oh, really? Subconscious is going to be like, oh, really? Your SP is more powerful than you? Okay. But because you said so, I will play that out. Not because SP is more powerful, but because you said SP is more powerful. So if you think, oh, if there's a third party, let's say, right? Third party has my man or has my girl. I can't get them back. What if I never get them back? They're probably probably over there having fun. Subconscious is going to be like, really? They're together and they're having fun? That's the scene you want to create? I don't know why you want to create that story, but here you go. Push it out. Oh, they're, oh, I just saw it on Facebook. They pushed it out on Facebook. Look at that. Reaction. Trigger. Trigger warning, right? That's how it happens, you guys. But I want you to understand, like, it's you. You're the one assigning those meanings. You're the one having the final say, okay? So with this, with this client of mine... I was like, no, you're going to persist no matter what. Stop making excuses that he's rejection, rejecting you. Stop making excuses that he is um, too busy for you. Every time you keep saying that, he's going to be pushing that out. And she finally did it. And now who's the priority? She's the priority. And I bet you this success story is going to have an amazing part too. You guys, I love each and every one of you. If this video helped you, comment down below. Um, I just remember when I was in that time, you know, when you don't feel, when you, when you don't see that light at the end of the tunnel, I know it's scary, but I promise a few weeks, a few months from now, you guys are going to come back to this video and comment below it and be like, Ani, you were right. There is light at the end of the tunnel. I did get what I want. I intend each and every one of you do. Um, I love all of you. Thank you for watching. If you guys are interested in any of my courses, I don't know if you guys saw our TikTok. The TikTok's called Create Your Future Amanda. Um, I posted uh, the slot machine when I had, um, I had a, I made a video about it. If you guys want me to, if you guys want me to talk about talk more about it or post more of the videos I take of the wins, um, comment down below. I will. And if you guys want to, um, if you guys need or want to try out any of my courses, links are going to be in the description boxes down below. Uh, createyourfuture.co is the website if you guys need to access it and get the courses. Um, when you choose a course, do not worry about the date or time. The moment you purchase a course, you have full access to it. And um, we are having a contest still for free coaching sessions, you guys. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel, uh, comment down below, like this video, and you are entered to win free coaching. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Love you all. Bye.